What's up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, and we have another Geek Tech Talk Live. We're going to show you this little thing. This is the True Wire Mini NES Gaming Console. It's not an NES gaming console. It's a mini entertainment center, as they say, but it has 621 games, and a lot of them, I believe, are from NES, and what, that's what we're going to take a look at and uh, see, open it up, see what's in there, and uh, play some games next on Geek Tech Talk Live. What's up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine Think Magazine. Put in the geek socials down here. Don't forget, there's a follow button, there's a subscribe button, there's a like button, there's a bell, there's a, there's, there's, I don't know, maybe a cowbell. Need more cowbell. It's all over here, uh, here and here and here and here. Just click everywhere and you'll get somewhere. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming to the show. It is a Thursday night and we've got the mood lighting behind me. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, we're having some fun because we're going to be playing some video games with this little puppy right here. This is the uh, mini game console. Let me get some more light on that for a second. We'll turn on the lights for a minute and then uh, bring it back down once we're done unboxing this thing. So this is the mini gaming console entertainment system. Built in 621 classic games. Classic games. It's basically a main system. Uh, but, you know, hey, they put it in a nice little box. I could set up a Raspberry Pi just as easy, but then I don't have the controllers. And, uh, you know, it, it's easy to go. And we might just open up this box because something you know uh i i do have a review policy for anything that i do over at geekazine and it's right there uh but i purchased this with my own funds it's really not that much money this is the 40 dollars or something like that but anyway all opinions are of my own nobody has any say of anything uh you know uh, and we follow we follow all the rules and we try to follow is all the rules and uh you know if you got any questions that's where you go to find out more information so anyway, uh, so let's get this unboxed, let's get this set up, and let's see uh, what type of gameplays we got here. We're gonna start by showing you this. This is, the, uh, this is the gaming system that I ended up choosing. There are a lot of these gaming systems that are on Amazon, and I wanted to get something uh, that was retro to the point of NES. I could have went even farther to the Atari days, but I wanted something with a decent joystick. I really wanted something super NES. Because I, I like those controllers a little bit better than these box controllers. But I, I settled on this because I felt that it, it was okay. And we'll see how the button plays on this. And, of course, these, these are the game consoles that I, I played with. And one of my, actually, the NES was my first game console that I bought personally with my own money. I've had Atari game systems and and uh, and the Pong and stuff like that growing up, but all of that was family game entertainment systems. The, the NES was the first uh, system that I bought all by myself, all by my lonesome, because I wanted to play Tetris. I was the biggest Tetris freak ever. I was, and I'm hoping Tetris is on here too. So, and I'm hoping it's going to be good. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and unbox this puppy. Not much to unbox here, so it should be fairly quick. We're going to start. We open it up. We've got a nice little HDMI cable that we're going to be using. Uh, but normally I get rid of these cables because they've always ended up causing failure. They're, you know, this is not the highest end built system in the world. So I'm going to probably toss that cable as we go. Next up is we got a little wall wart, and it's pretty small. Let's see. It, I believe, this is a five volt, five volt plug, which means that I should be able to uh, just plug it into a USB. Yeah, it's a, it's a mini micro USB, and let's see. It says five volts. Yeah, it's a simple five volts. So I could literally just plug it into uh, a USB charger and uh, and play it from there. In fact, I could probably hook it up to a uh, battery, which I have one over there, and then uh, and then I could play this on the road, I, as long as I had a monitor. So we got that, we'll just uh, do that. We got the two game controllers. These are kind of like the NES controllers, except they have a couple extra buttons on it. And I'm assuming this is for some of the games that are technically not NES that needed extra buttons. Now, you can get game consoles that have all the buttons, including the left, right, up, down. I didn't want it, and maybe, maybe I'll get something like that later on, if uh, if we uh, enjoy this so much, we get another one. 
uh, I might just go for the bigger consoles. But it looks like we got a select and a start button. Uh, Chiclet-style keys. A, a button's actually and just kind of pushing the buttons right now. It, it feels kind of solid. I'm, I'm fairly impressed with how this, uh, how this plays. We'll find out after I throw it across the room a couple times. All right, and of course we have two game con uh, joysticks, but I'm only one person. Come play games with me, I don't know. So Anyway, we, but we do have the two joysticks, or game pads, or whatever. Next up is the console, and look at that puppy. That thing is small. Take a look at this. Uh, so this is the game console right here. Now, it, the original one is, you know, a lot bigger. I remember that. And the front doesn't open up at all. Uh, so let's take a look at this really quick. Let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. Let's zoom in a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so the game console, what we got? We got two buttons right here. This is a, this is a power button. It's a click on, click off type thing. This must be a reset button right here. We've got joystick. I don't know which one's joystick A, which one's joystick B. Maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know. Uh, nothing on the side here. On the back, we have an HDMI output and the uh, micro USB for there. The other side, absolutely nothing. Nothing on the bottom, nothing on the top, and certainly nothing in here. Just kidding. There's something in there. It's got to be something in there. It doesn't rattle around. Anyway, uh, so and as you can see, it says entertainment system. <laughs> entertainment system. So that's pretty much it. And then, of course, last thing in here is the user guide. And let's uh, user menu A. Yeah, menu I. So we've got a user menu I for you guys. And it's backwards, but it's just basically saying, this is the controller, this is the uh, system, this is uh, this is where you plug it in, the TV interface and the plug and all that. And then on the back it says, it has built-in classic PC game, FC games, built-in classic FC games in total, which cannot be changed. It uses five volt charger for the power supply uh, for, and that, if you're 110 or 220, it, the, uh, the power supply will uh, convert. Uh, it will send the HDMI cable, which uh, supports the TV output. Never allow children to play it alone when it comes uh, to power. Please turn off the machine and operate it a after cooling it. And so it might get warm. I don't know. I got a temperature gauge. I, we could definitely test that after a little while. Never put, never put the machine stay at some... Places extremely cold or hot. Yeah, perfect English here. Uh, so basically, it's saying yeah, don't don't put it out in the sun. Don't put it in a snowbank. Uh, never disassemble or repair the machine by yourself. <laughs> we might just do that. And it may be unavailable for some TV or with 4K resolution ratio. So I do have this. I'm going to be hooking this up to the big TV right here, which you can't see. Uh, and I'm going to be using a streaming box to do that so you can actually see the game system as well. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens there. So let's just put that to the side here. And let's take this console and put it down here. And then we'll get the plug ready. We'll take this HDMI cable. We'll use the, we'll use the H HDMI cable. No, we're not going to use the HDMI cable because I already have an HDMI cable. All right, so my HDMI cable is right here. It's a nice corded blue HDMI cable. We'll plug that right in there. And then we're just going to plug one of the joysticks in because, you know, I'm all by myself. Yeah, that's how it works. And we got that plugged in there. We're going to plug this in here. And we got this plugged in like that. There we go. You want to play video games with me? Oh, I don't know. I haven't I haven't done it yet. No. It's so cute. It's so, so tiny. <laughs> That's Jennifer. She's going, it's so small. <laughs> you know what? There are times when that's a compliment. Yeah, that's true. Can you that only use true. one controller at a time? No, you can. I got two controllers. We could play we could play player one, player two if you wanted. You don't have to now. <laughs> I don't know yet. Okay, well, I we'll don't know yet. <laughs> So, okay, let's go ahead. We're going to plug this in. And it's not turned on yet, so let's let's do this. Let's go over here. 
Let's turn it on. Ready? Three, two, five. There, we just turned it on. Woohoo! All right, it's on. So in order for me to get this next one, I need to go here. And it, I'm seeing it already. Look at that. There we go. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So we got action games. We got shoot games. We got sport games. We got fighting games. We got racing games. And I think I have to, I just, the, I plugged it into two. So let's do that. Let's turn that off. Let's, Let's switch, switch that, that into one. So the, the, on, on the far, far left is player, player one, or controller, controller one, and the far right, right is controller two. two. What we got here is we've got action games, we've got shoot games, we've got sport games, we've got puzzle games, we've got racing games, and we've got fight games, Ninja Turtle style. So let's start with the action games, because I really want to see how Mario is here. And uh, I'm hitting A. Uh, we got... Let's see, 88 in one. There's 88 games here. So we got Super Mario Brothers 3, 2, Mario 10, Mario 14, Mario 16, Mario 6, 9, Dr. Mario, Mario S. Missing, Mario's Time Machine, uh, lots, of, lots of Mario's, Adventure Island, Chippendale 1, uh, I don't know, I've, do you remember playing Chippendales? Yeah, I don't remember that one. That's interesting. Uh, Tiny Toon Adventures, Tiny Toon, Tiny Toon, Bugs Bunny's Birthday, Son oh, Sonic, that's not even an NES game, Sonic, right there, uh, Crash Bandicoot, right there, Felix the Cat, not Fritz the Cat, but Felix the Cat, Blaster Master, have you pl ever played Blaster Master, it's amazing, Pocket Monster, uh, Rocking Cat, Spider-Man, uh, we're going through, there's 88 in this, in this category, Wampum Widget, Worm, Wagon Land, uh, no dysentery here, uh, Hello Kitty, Super Adventure, Jumping Kid, Help, Hellfire, Paper Boy, Final Mission, Tiny Toon, Sky Dreamer, ooh hoo, hoo Sky Dreamer, Force Kid, Sea Adventure, Jungle Explorer, you're seeing Kamikaze, Boar Forest, Boar Forest BV, I don't know, uh, Storty, don't know, Yoshi Hash Cookie, do you remember Yoshi Hash Cookie? Yeah, I know. That sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, Yoshi's Cookies. After the Hash Cookie, you need regular cookies, right? Happy Adventure. Yeah, it is a happy adventure. Hot Boy. Balloon Mario. Spelunk. Forest Adventure. Dra Ooh, Dragon Quest. I wonder if that's what I'm thinking it is. Circus Mario. Uh, and so that's the 88 right there. Let's, let's see if we can return back. Oh, no, we started the game. I didn't want to start the game. How do we get back? I don't know how to get back. I just hit the reset button. Yeah, if it was Atari, I'd just die. <laughs> Why don't you just die? Anyway, uh, <laughs> shoot games. Let's check that out. So I'm not sure if there's a back, but there's 94 in this category. We got Contra, Robocop, Bucky O'Hare, Dead Fox, Silkworm, The Punisher, Final Mission, the Final Mission, Crossfire, Alien 3, no, not Alien 1 or 2, ooh, Gauntlet, cool, Gauntlet, I love that one, uh, Over Horizon, we got Parodius, Smash TV, Super Zevius, totally rad, that's totally rad, Twin Cobra, Zombie Nation, Fantasy, ooh, 1942, that was one of my favorite uh, arcade games was 1942, I played that a lot. Uh, and actually, uh, there was a bowling alley that just closed a few years ago here. And they had 1940, they, I think they had 1943 in the lobby. And I, I always played that. It was a great game. Still is. Uh, X to X's. I don't know what that is. Final Blood. Galg. Star. Anyway, uh, Star Force. Galaga. Oh, there's Galaga. Oh, and Galaxian. Ooh, cool. Sky Invader, Sky Invader, Mario in space, 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 De Defender, Defender, Defender 2, that's the Uper version, the Defender, and uh, Five Days, Formation Z, Zevious, Levin Action, Levin Action, I don't know, that's an Elton John song, isn't it? Uh, Firebase, Sky Kid, Xreon, don't know, Field Combat, Space Base, Gradius, Gyrodine, Vigilance, Volgard, and Little Witch. Little Witch. 
Hmm. And... Yeah, okay, now, okay, so now we have sport games, so let's go to sport games. By the way, I just hit the, the, there's the four buttons here, let me show you. Yeah, the four buttons, so these are the two main ones. To get back, I press this one. And now to go forward, I'm going to press this one for sport games. There's 43 sport games in this one, and I think that's, there we go. 43 in this one, and what do we got? Hot blood, hot blood basketball. Blood High, yes. Blood Ice Hockey. Blood March. Blood New Record. Hot Blood Sucker. Hot Blood Sucker 1. Hot Blood Story. Hot Blood Volleyball. Hot Blood Wrestle. It's <laughs> a lot of hot blood. <laughs> That's crazy. World Cup Soccer. Ultimate Basketball. Uh, FIFA 2006. Ooh, uh, Fi Family Stadium 87. Top Golf. Oh, that's a pretty good game. Uh, hurdles, 100 meter dash, tennis, one, 10, 10 yard fight. I don't know. You got to run 10 yards and fight. I don't know. Shot put, hyper Olympic, long jump, backstroke, breaststroke, discus put, kiwi craze. Oh, I think I remember that one. Butterfly stroke, golf, soccer, uh, baseball, not baseball, but baseball, triple jump and volleyball. All right. So, what do we go? We'll go down to, fight, to puzzle games. Let's see what we got. Hopefully, Tetris in here. Rockman 3 and 5. Uh, Snow Bros. Snow Bros, dude. Snow Bros. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Angry Bird. Angry Bird 2. Angry Bird 3. Not birds. Just bird. Legacy of the Wizard. Side Pocket. Mendel Palace. Is that like... I don't know. New Zealand story. Ooh, let's go to New Zealand. That's cool. Rampage. Did you watch the movie? Awesome movie, I think. Uh, Rock and Ball. Roller Blade Racer. Roller Games. There's there's 325 in this one. Wow. We won't go through all three. Oh, Wayne's World. Where's Waldo? AV Poker. So there's there's some pretty interesting uh, different programs in here. So let's go back. <coughs> We've got racing games. And there's 25 racing games in here from Firebird to Road Blas. Road Blas? I don't know. Colliding to Zippy Race to Seething. It's not Seether, not the band, but Seething. Super Sprint def Deformable. Okay, what's that? Road Warrior, Ro Route 16 Turbo, Challenger, UFO Race. Anyway. Uh, Excite Mario Brothers, Lighting, Mock Rider. Good Hand and Crypt Car. Okay. Uh, finally, we're going to fighting games. It looks like we got some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtle 1, Turtles 2, Turtles 3. Didn't they have... Wasn't Turtles in the first one as well? Hopefully they're not repeating games here. Anyway, 46 here. <coughs> Excuse me. Double Dragon. Gosh, four Double Dragons. Power Blade. Ninja Gaiden. Uh, King of Fighters, Street Fighter 6, Mortal Kombat 4, Mighty Final Fight, Asti Astyanix, Astyanix, I don't know, Bad Dudes, ooh, I remember Bad Dudes, that's the one with the, uh, where you had the two guys and one of them looked like Mr. T, uh, you could be, uh, and that, yeah, Batman, Eyes, Eight Eyes, excuse me, Bird Fighter, Captain American, not Captain America, but a Captain American, with that lowercase n. He's not lonely anymore. Standing on the hill. Prisoner of War, a monster in my pocket. Oh, I go, a monster in my pocket. Riki Kunio, I don't know what that is. River City Brawl. Dun, dun, dun. Secret Ties, The Last Ninja, X-Men 2. So, Wrestle, There's, they're super Chinese. That's interesting. Uh, Toxic Crusaders. Ooh, that's like, is that like Toxic Avenger? That'd be cool. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Wrestle. Ye are kung fu. Ye are kung fu. Yar kung fu. <laughs> it's kind of like a pirate. It's pirate kung fu. Yar kung fu. <laughs> Urban champion Spartan X. Or Spartan 10, maybe. I don't know. Legend of Cage, Muscle Ninja 2, and Icky. Icky, Icky, Icky. All right, let's start with the action games. Because, you know, it's all about the Mario. So we got Super Mario Brothers 2 and 3. We got Mario 10, 14, 16. Uh, Mario's Missing to Mario's Time Machine. 
Super Mario, there it is, Super Mario Brothers, the original, well, not really the original Super uh, original Mario Brothers, was a really interesting game where it, it was one screen. It kind of had the Donkey Kong feel to it, and you would bounce up into the different levels uh, to do stuff. But this is the first uh, NES console, so this is where we're going to start. And it's loading. Oh, looks good. We got one or two players, and my controller is now not working. Oh, well, that's interesting. Does that mean I have to plug in the other controller? Let's see if we can blow up the machine by plugging this in. Oh, I see. It wasn't the fact of the controller. It was the fact that it was hitting the wrong button. All right. So one player, I'm going to hit start. And I'm just going to use the bottom buttons here. Do, 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 Woo! Missed him. Come, come, come. There we go. There we go. Is this the one? I forgot how to play this. This was one. There we go. There we go. Gotta get them all. Get all the coins. All the coins. Oh, I messed that up. Oh well. Da 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 da. Oh, that's Mario. That's pause. I don't know of a way to get back. So I guess the only way to get back, unless the instructions say something. Never allow children below three years old to use it alone. Never play the transformer casually. For his, oh, never play the, with the Transformer casually, because it is not a toy. Just so you know. So I guess uh, there is no way to, besides hitting that reset button, to reset it. So that's what we're going to do, just hit that reset button. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's, let's see how good the fighting games are. Let's try Mortal Kombat. Kombat 4. Oh, yeah, actually, it does say start. Okay. Who do I want to be? I'll be that guy. Oh. Yeah, I'm doing horribly on this game already. Notice how the legs are kind of not doing it. I don't remember Mortal Kombat was like this, but uh, hey, why not? All right, we got some framing issues, that's for sure, with this game. You're seeing a lot of skipped frames and I'm dead that's okay don't like that game let's restart all right let's check out the racing games uh, what do we want let's do f1 race this game needs a a uh... oh that's interesting there's definitely some pixelation issues here uh, I remember playing this game when I was a kid it needs a steering wheel to it Okay, so A is to the accelerate, and B is to break. Like what? Which one? Gauntlet. Oh, gauntlet. Where was that one? Where? Gauntlet. There it is. Good, good, good memory. <laughs> yeah, it definitely looks like... Well, I used to play this. Yeah? At, so did um, I, yeah. Pizza Hut. Oh, at Pizza Hut? So it was yeah. Oh, yeah. Arcade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I played it at the arcade. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. So, did you want to play it or no? No. I just okay. Do you want to watch? Okay. Just briefly. How many players? Oh, you gotta hit the start button. So it's definitely putting it into an 8-bit realm. Select the hero. We'll do the archer. Oh, that's not too bad. The controller's a little bit hard to move around. Do you just need to get used to it? I think so. What happened there? I'm walking through walls.
Oh, there's a key. I, I can't get the key for some reason. Oh, there's another key. All of a sudden, another key just showed up. How do you pick it up? I don't know. I'm hitting buttons. What buttons haven't you tried? I've tried all the buttons. <laughs> so, this game is kind of a bust. That's sad, because I like, I like Gauntlet. We did the racing games, we did the fighting games. Let's do the puzzle games. Let's see what we got for puzzle games. No Tetris, but Tetris 2. We got Angry Bird. Snow Bros. Let's do Tetris. Like I said, this is one of my favorites. We'll do the si I'll do silence. Oh, okay. The key to Tetris was not to... was to basically fill up four at a time. Because by doing that, you got more points. It was important to start building your... Is that only one? Ah. There we go. Double. Yay. And we went to the bonus. Okay. So that was Tetris. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's go to the next game here. Aladdin 3, 1942. There we go. I remember this game. This is just an... I, I love this game. It's a great game. So my first, when I did get my first NES, uh, I remember because I, I had to get, I had to get the uh, money from my bank account, and my parents decided that my bank account wasn't going to be in the same town as me. And at that time, there was no such thing as internet banking. <laughs> so basically, what happened was I had to ride my bike to the t next town over. To uh, to get the money to uh, to to buy the game console, and I basically <laughs> I I oops oh hey I oh where did he come from I misjudged one of the roads and I ended up in a in a different town ah. And so what would have taken me about four days? Let's do Top Gun. Okay, we can do Top Gun. Where was Top Gun? Was that in the... Uh, that had to have been in the same one there. Shoot games. Okay, uh, so yeah, I, I ended up going to the town over, and it, uh, an hour bike ride turned into five, six hours. So Top Gun. There we go, Top Gun Dual Fight. The new movie coming out with Tom Cruise, as opposed to the old movie coming out with Tom Cruise. Dual Fighters. So, I don't think I ever played this one. Hunt down and destroy the enemy's new high-tech bomber. Select missile, weapon selected, okay. I just did a barrel roll. That's cool. These controllers, although they're decent controllers, they're still they're still difficult to uh, in in something like this. They're a little bit difficult to control. But yeah, what the hell? Yeah, it's not too bad. Where? Are, oh, I just did another barrel roll. There we got him. What do you think? Is it is it a game that you'd play? See if I can go in the water. I don't know if I got hit by bombs or I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> anyway, let's reset. Let's go to a different game. Oh, you're crying. Why are you crying? Don't cry. So, okay, we're on an NES system, so we have to. We have to play this game. Sonic the Hedgehog. Because, <laughs> you know, it was known for NES systems. <laughs> Ah, oh, there's the crab guy. There goes the, there goes my one and only. There we go. I'm thinking the wrong way on this wrong game. Ah, 
Ah! Yeah, I'm not a big Sonic player, I guess. So that's Sonic the Hedgehog on this system. So not too bad, not too bad. Actually, let's, let's do the next thing here. Next best thing, we're gonna turn this puppy off. We're gonna take a look at this system. So let's unplug this. I bought the system, I should be able to take it apart, right? Four rubber feet here, which I'm guessing will show off a screw, possibly. So I might just have bought myself a Raspberry Pi with a, with a game card on it. And that's okay. That's, that was, there was, I had expectation that that's what this is going to possibly be. I had this gaming console. Let's go top. Let's flip it around. Well, it's not a Raspberry Pi. So it's all on board. So this is the inside of this device. Uh, we got the power button, the reset button, and these are the game controllers. Uh, we got a nothing. Nothing seems to be detachable. Um, but this is the. This looks like the main device that powers it. There's the power right there, and of course the HDMI port. Go. No, no, that pops out a lot easier. So that's the that's the board right there. And as you can see, there's nothing reusable on this. So if it uh, if it's done, it's done. So you see, there's some, some there's like a little signature down there, and then this is the AAA 6820VI uh, 2020. This actually board came uh, came out March. Looks like March 18th of 2020. So right after our lockdown, down, this board was made. That's that's what I'm reading, which might be wrong. I don't know those numbers too well. But that's basically the inside of this console. I'll do that offline. So, but basically, then, of course, as you can see, there's no way to put the cartridge in because this is all one piece. So, I could have some fun modding this. I could put, uh, I could put some lights in here, per se, so it'll at least light up. But... You know, that's that's pretty much it for that type of board. And there are other companies that make similar units to this. And you can you can find them all over on Amazon. I decided I decided to get the there were a lot of factors I was trying to look for in getting uh, uh, an all-in-one gaming system. There are some gaming systems that have 821 games in them. And then this one had 621 games in it. Uh, and uh, the games looked pretty good. Uh, the Mario, the Mario worked like Mario. So if you were if you were just jonesing for a Mario Brothers fix, you know that's you could do that with this one. Uh, if you were uh, if you wanted to play some Sonic the Hedgehog, that looked like a decent Sonic. Um, it's not going to be nothing's going to be perfect on this. We saw in the one racing game that it was uh, it was not going it was not perfect, but that's okay. Uh, because if you want perfect, you go find the actual game, and then you find out the actual game is also not that perfect. For thirty-seven dollars, it was a good. It's good entertainment. I mean, I just I just played for an hour there. I'll probably play offline a little bit more. Let's make sure I got all the screws in there, right? Yep. Okay. Perfect. And uh, yeah, just uh, it's it's a fun little thing. You know, if you have like a little party or something like that, you can. Plug this into a TV and, and they can play games if they need to or, you know, get a bigger system and, and try and, and get these games on your computer or, or anything like that. But, you know, just going for the retro ability to it, this is a pretty amazing little system right here. So uh, I didn't have too much stock in this uh, that this was going to be great. Um, I know I've heard some stories about people getting these game consoles. And it says it has tons of games on them, but then they find out that they're not. There's, there's no Mario on there. There's no Sonic on there. There's no Turtles on there. Uh, it's just you know, games that generic games to play. So I'm really happy that this one actually had the games on there. So that is the True Wire Classic Game System. You can get it right there. Of course, you got the link down there. Go ahead and click on that uh, and uh, check that out. And 
Can we do more of these? Should I get another? Should I get a couple other of these gaming console systems and check them out? Let me know in the comments, and we'll go from there. But in the meantime, that's pretty much it for this episode of Geek Tech Talk Live. Uh, thank you very much, Shaquenia, Shaquenia Davis, for sticking around with me and uh, checking out some of the games. Hopefully, you'll get this system here. Let me know if you do by tweeting me over at Geekazine. Uh, or just uh, just uh, uh, follow me here on Amazon, and uh, we'll go from there. So thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for listening. You guys geek out. We'll see you next time on Geek Tech Talk Live with me, Jeffrey Powers. Take care.